Hello boys, Cool Yoshi here, and welcome back to my Super Mario Party walkthrough, uh, well, more like blind playthrough, Yoshi only. We're going through every single mode in this game, and in the last episode, we nearly finished the Mario Party. We finished, uh, the main three boards, and now it's time for the final board, Kamex Tantalizing Tower. But not before... <laughs> Making sure I do 20 turns. <laughs> Glad I buzzed that. Because <laughs> then I would have had to restart the board. So anyways. We have a golden area that's also desert thieved. Don't know why desert thieves play. Because it's clearly a city. This is it. The last board. Over there, the chain shop around the pipe of lights. It's a giant gold statue of Comet looking down at a towel. It tells you how many coins you need to get to the star. It changes all the time. There's also a flop hanging around that'll block your path. Say, anyone who wants to come this way to give me coins. Nobody can pass without paying more coins than the last person now. So. Kind of like Mario Party 1, where every time you pay a toll, you get the next person has to pay one more coin. That's a lot to take in. Watch out for all the obstacles as you go. Move on. So, that's the only part we're doing so, by the way. We're not waiting on any other stuff. And so far, we haven't been first in any of these boards. Okay, see, so, yes, if I lose a board, I probably will uh, just show me victory and then off screen. With the same exact amount of turns, I'll at least show you the result of it. So, we have more stars that can be collected, but they now cost more. Great, so now this board's. So, if the game isn't already random before. One big star get will result in, uh, up to two stars at once now. So, uh, from the looks of it, we want to get coins. And for that reason, oh, so... Uh, we want to buy the coin natal now more than ever. So, I read this obviously before I began, and it mentioned it's a fierce fight for coins, so yeah, it looks like we're going to be just trying to rob people of their money here. Because that's going to seem very important. Meanwhile, I'm going to try and get rid of my money if I get a chance, because... Whoever has the most money usually ends up getting stolen from, so... They all got a 5, so it's probably never going to give me a 5, but... As you can see, we win, we get 6 coins, and... We lose 6 space coins for red spaces permanently now. That's one change to the board. And of course, the coin nail being available slightly changes up the idea of the thing. Well, my coin lead's not gonna last on. Anybody with a coin nail is usually safe. I'll just rush for this mini game because if I get the most coins, I'm probably going to end up losing them pretty quickly, so. Yeah. But that's just the nature of these boards. <laughs> oh, we get this one again. So the fane sizzles and then stops. The moment the fra on the frame it stops, you're supposed to flip it around to the other side. And it's kind of tricky because you have to keep flipping it. You have to get it to the point where you can sizzle it perfectly. 
Which means you can do this really fast if you know what you're doing. Cool. That was a much better record there. Cool. If you don't know the frame to shake it on, it does get kind of tricky to do. So that means they suck at this game, and as long as I can beat the record of 25 seconds, then it's perfectly fine. That was a big record, too, by like 15 minutes or so. Okay, that was an easy one. It's the second time we played this game. Coming on to our last board, we're probably going to get a lot of repeat games. Just saying. Maybe I'll pick random. They probably will never pick random, though. Or they might not even use it. Ugh. I would use it, but I don't have the ability to do that. What's that? A shoulder. Warped. Oh, so apparently that's where Lakitu is now. They did say it's a fierce fight for coins, so I guess try and land on an exclamation point if you get a chance. But you have to get lucky even to land on that. Going for the lucky event. The lucky event also got severely nerfed, it seems like. Alright, so... I mentioned I would never use my Yoshi Dice Sock unless I get it partnered to avert the zero that it would otherwise give me. Alright. Time to get myself a Kainado. I wonder what triggers them to use that. Oh my, a uh, hidden block on the first turn. This is a shout out to what happened the very first time I started playing this. It was pretty interesting, because usually if a player gets lucky and finds a lot of hidden blocks, it's one of the CPUs, so it was really surprising. Yeah, so that hidden block pretty much doesn't really matter because I'm going to lose coins anyways. This is what I was worried about. I did try to warn you guys, whoever has the highest uh, coins will usually get taken from. So if you stay behind everyone, then when the opponents go to steal, they won't steal from you, usually. But sometimes they'll do land him. In that case, you'll just try to get lucky. So it seems like the focus here is to just get a lot of coins and hope for the best. So this is literally just, uh, just like I mentioned before. Avoid uh, moving to the right side and just hold right and hope for the best. But I who's in front who usually stays in the lead for a while. At least we, at least I lasted a lot longer, but a lot of the Winner. way this works is it seems like you need to semi get lucky, and if you keep getting lawn paths, it becomes very difficult to win. 
It's usually just... I don't know why about this one, but I always do so well in the beginning, and then... Because the beginning's easy, and then I fall off at the end, and then they start catching up to me. Here comes the random. Cool. Didn't... went... she didn't go for me. She about to get quite a bit of coins if she's going for that, that's for sure. Unless she gets a zero. Now, I'm, we're not in danger because she can't steal a star yet. Even though it, our steal only costs 30 coins, it doesn't really change much. We're still kind of wondering where that actual star is located, just to know. Oh, so the shop is now 100% random in there. Does it show you what it's doing? The return of the lucky box again. Who actually gets a star out of it? I might actually want to wait on my coin nail a little bit. Just personal. Uh, this is personal because uh, Peach might be baited into stealing that star from Multi Ball, and if she does, that's going to put her behind. So I'm just gonna kinda. And no told, I don't wanna use my item. I do not wanna use my item, Toad, please. Going for. Bite or Lucky, I obviously want that. And my item cap is filled. Time to use some items, I guess. So it just fills up my item stack with dash mushrooms. If I didn't already have any of them. I know, this seems very weird, but I'm forcing Peach to take a star because if she does that, it'll put her behind in the coin lead. If she doesn't do it, I could always just coin it immediately after that. Uh, speaking of which, Peach loses two coins that probably might not work unless she at least gets uh, not last. I obviously don't want to deal with that. Okay, it's going to give us a coin minigame anyway. So we have to go to the front. But there's also some troll money in the back. So you don't necessarily want to go into the back all the time. Actually, I think you want to go to the back, because all the because money, the money's kind of tricky at first. It doesn't appear necessarily until the last minute when you want to like go to a certain spot. Start. But it's kind of a mix too. Sometimes it appears right away. Sometimes it appears in the back, so it appears in the front. It's hard to know what happens. I'm just gonna go in the back. See, look at that. I think you get more coins by just waiting, so just let the seat. Fuse, grab the top coins, and you'll get all the bottom ones, and you'll get more than them every time. That's good to know. Now I have the, I have the coin lead. Okay. Yeah, stars might not matter, because right now you want to try to grab onto coins. I'm going to actually hang on to that idea and try my best to get as much coins. Oh, thank goodness you didn't get a versus. That would have been really annoying. She could not steal, potentially. 
Because there is only one. Nope. Okay, then. She can't do random, so yeah. My trick actually did work a little bit. Now just, uh, Coinado from Monty, or whoever has le 10 or less. I don't feel like you want to steal many stars here, because... It seems like getting to that other area is more important. And that was Monty Mole's completely free star he got, because of, uh, that one thing. It's crazy. Ooh. Goodness, all of her coins are gone. By the way, I was joking, I should probably usually, probably reduce everyone's overall coin total, uh... In other words, uh, Mario needs to go lose his coins next, because that'll decrease his chances of getting a star. And I don't think Cho that spot changes. Thankfully, he didn't have enough coins for a second one, so it's just gonna award one. You got a star. I don't know. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that's unlucky. Yeah, I'm definitely not using my dash mushroom. Uh, just as I was wearing diff. Doesn't really tell us what to do. I'll collect 10 coins from each of you. Which one is this? Anyways, 30 coins at stake. Press R when you feel the strongest rumble. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's hard to really do that. You pretty much blindly time it and hope for the best. Which I obviously clearly cannot do. I got I still did the icon anyway though. Thankfully it was only for 10 coins so it didn't change much of a lead. I, I'm not joking when I say those things are super hard. I don't necessarily hate the Rumble mechanics, I hate the Rumble minigame. I feel like it's just so hard <laughs> to play around with <laughs> for some reason. That was a nice one. I got the maximum 10 coin steal from there. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck at the regular dice block. Unless I get an ally or something. Alright. How about, oh, I think they force, wow, they actually force you to pick up the items here. You straight up pay six coins. Watch out for the ching jump. I can deal with that. See, like, right there that Yoshi just did there, why does, doesn't he do that more often? Because when he says certain coins, it's how, he sometimes sounds really happy. Like, right there, that's what, uh, uh, what he should be like, but thankfully, I guess that works. Yeah, so we have, so I don't think we want to dash really at all, because... With the star being at 15 coins, I'd rather RNG roll something else. I could just avoid it entirely, which would be weird, but whatever. I'll have to see what I roll first. So I guess then I can go for the block? I probably shouldn't, because I don't want to lose any coins. Okay, so we have to go on different sides, I remember, for this one. Great, I got the middle. That's not fun. Start. Oh, 
please. I have to guard one area so I can pick up packages here once they come. One by one point. Well, actually, it forces me to go that way anyway, so I don't think I have a choice. <laughs> but I can still just go for the normal random roll. That moves you to a random space, it seems like. Okay. So whenever the exhalation point is not away, it just moves you to a random space, I guess. That's what I can assume. Because... It's a different space than what she was in before. So, yeah. I want to use the regular dice block and try to roll on that random thing, which... I think I might have missed, yep. I... The one before it, of course. That's the only risk with this. Get the this vein now. I don't have time for this, we'll just skip it. Stop the right Leal. Probably the worst one, but... Could be worse there. Because right now it's very nerfed, but... Later, uh... It's later when it becomes very annoying. Now Mario, I want you to... Do... Wow. I just literally lost my other roll, and now you're giving me a poison. I guess that means time to use my, uh, chip ball. So I'm using this to give Mario one chance to get this 15-star coin. If he doesn't get it, I'll probably end up taking it by force, or... Oh, wait, no, I ha kind of have to do the thing, because if I get a zero... Then I land on the bad luck space again. So the Zeo pretty much repeats the roll. My repeat roll right now is landing on bad luck space. I don't want that. But I could try it, I guess. Oh, great. So it's the stay in the middle game. It's the stay in the middle game. Well, I could also make it really quick, too. Winners. So that's one thing you can do if you were doing a speedrun. That was actually possibly my own fault. I didn't mean to do that, obviously. Because I do like playing as normally as possible. But, whatever. That was just an unlucky one to get with the one. I don't know why, but the... One seems to have a harder time now in most of the games. I think that's revenge because half of the time it was the free that would always lose now. Now it's the other way around. So that one's always linked to that space. Which means Peach is about to f steal another star again. Yeah, I honestly am not sure where to go about this. Because if I let the poison do the thing, I could potentially get a 1. I could potentially overall anyway. 
So I'll just see what happens. I know I probably shouldn't be going for the bad luck space again, but... Uh, I honestly don't care anymore. And no, I'm not throwing away the game. The star is at three or whatever it is. Okay, never mind. So that, so that makes me get the bad luck space again. Well, I've never gotten this any bad luck spaces before, that's for sure. Well, that was almost lose 10. That could have been really bad. I always lose coins no matter what, but... At least it's not as bad. Though it's starting to become pretty painful. Hopefully this next run is really good, because if it is, I'll dash bash him right to this. So this is where uh, where you can get two stars at once. Ah, uh, it's just that... I know. Now this was almost all done on purpose, to try to get to uh, keep my coins. Obviously, because coins are really important in this board. I will still get two stars no matter what, I think. Back to normal! I'll take that, I can dash rush him to that now. It doesn't help that the ally space is now extremely random in this board. Seems like they nerfed that quite a bit, so for the most part, it's going to probably be no allies for a long, long time. Someone wants to get an ally, they need a custom dice block to do it. And so, yeah, this is just, he tells you how many toads are fruit. So, okay. Pineapple, mm, fruit, fire, and four toads. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Isn't it one? Isn't it four? Wow, the very hard CPUs are a lot more of an idiot than I thought. That was one of the easier questions to get right, and yet they messed up. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> and two bullet bills. Uh, that's an all, right? So, uh, yeah. It's kind of tricky to watch this. Especially when some of them do cheese themselves. Watching everything just is really hard. Okay, never mind. They were all carrying fruit. They were all carrying fruit. She got nothing. <laughs> now the hard round. One, two, three, six. See, someone was carrying nothing. Apple. Oh, why? Goodness. That has to be kind of low. I'm just gonna go for this and hope for the best. One is not on the table and neither is zero, so... Now we check. Yeah, that seemed a lot easier than I thought, since there were not many Koopa Choopa or Choopas. Wow. And we just carried the entire team. <laughs> Mario, Montival, Yoshi, the Dinosaur is like three times better than you. You just carried your team. You should be happy. <laughs> okay. I know. That was a really weird play, laddie, on the back luck space. But trust me, I'm going to get those red stars and then it's going to be all worth it in the end. Hey, at least I landed on them before they were super bad luck spaces. Because at that point, I wouldn't care. Yeah, if the star price ever changes below 15, I'm going for it, because it's definitely worth it. Meanwhile, oh, it's the coin one. I'm 
the target this time. Ouch. Thankfully, they took the minimum number from me this time, instead of 10. Like it sometimes likes to do. Yeah, so, stars can be the normal price of 20 coins, but now instead of getting 10, you get 2. I obviously didn't mention that I would stay ally-less. There will obviously still be an ally. It's just that, if you want to get this one, this is one where you definitely need, a. Uh, our stuff because usually there's like two or three allies spaces and you can farm them a lot easier but this one it forces you into a linear direction so it's very hard all right so everyone's using stuff on me classic now it's like a 10 or 9 but it also didn't look uh, exactly like a 10 Already got the 10 from that the last time, so there's no point. Monty will about to lose some coins here, but he's gonna take the custom dice block again, this lucky guy. Now, if he knew what to do with it, he would use it to get allies, because allies are super important in this game. Whenever you're in range of an ally, you definitely want to go to stop. So, times are gonna be lost. Oh wow, he didn't lose as much as I did. So it looks like that's five, ten, five between five and ten again. Cool. Now we get to use our item. Do we change our block because of that? We do. Okay. Let, let's just yeah, let's change our block. That's what I meant to say. Yes, this one turn we'll change our block to this. Okay. Monty all just got wrecked, wow. They always p pay the price too, so that means that's going to be 30 coins of them being paid just for two stars. And I were past the area, whatever it was. It was, oh yeah, the shop, shop, shop. That's actually kind of annoying because it forces us down this right path, which means we have no choice right now, at least not at the moment. It kind of just puts us here. Well, I'm obviously going to go for normal no dash mushroom because if I do that, I can land on that exclamation point and steal some coins. Coins are very important, so we should try and get a lot of them. Seems whoever gets the coin star from... Yeah, the coin star is actually back. Oh, are you kidding me? This game, again? At least we're on the good side this time. But That was just silly. I didn't expect the thing to hit that early. Got him. Winners. Well, now we immediately vengeance that, but I think two of them have 20 coins from that. I don't care, I won that now, though. <laughs> maybe someday later when the 1v3 game gets to normal, maybe there will be a separate video where I try to beat the opponents on Master. In as the one in all 1v3 minigames. That's probably gonna be very tough, but we'll see. Because after this board, more than likely, unless something else is revealed, which. Wow, Peach trying to get the zero to stay on that space, but it doesn't work. 
Oh, yeah. Have you ever considered, like, the strategy from, like, before? Because based on the way the thing looks, it looks like you're able to make yourself low a zeal. I wonder if people would do that. Oh, wow. He knows. Monty Mole knows. The ally space. He's about to get another ally. So I guess the first part I was kind of on about... You want to get here as soon as possible, mainly to the first shop, because if you get there before anyone else, you can get a custom dice spot that allows you to get an ally a lot easier. Yeah, so that's Monty Mole's legit stars. Plus the one hidden dice hog star he mysteriously got back. Boring. Five, <laughs> no five coin stars. Stars, it seems like. They want us to pay the price a little bit. I'm gonna stick with my original plan of trying to RNG roll this two here. Which means I need the normal dice block for that. Ah, oh, the RNG gave me a 1 instead. That's never fun. That literally didn't do much. Rerolling for another one is probably not going to happen. Wait, he RNG rolled, but... Oh, Monty rolled. You messed up, actually. I thought that was the ally space, it was not. He should have just stuck with the six. Okay, well, each one of us has gotten a hidden block. Thankfully, he misses the star, though, from it. Someday I'll probably. Probably. <laughs> it's only the second time this has happened. The second time I believe that a hidden block is given a star. Alright, so we have to work as a team again. Would help though if they could stop getting in my way. Okay. Yeah, really slow that time, and it does seem like the RNG does affect it a little bit. Of course, if I was the human on that side, then I would be punching super fast. This looks like a game I could win easily if I was on one. But I don't get 10 coins from it, because unless I win with the allies, I don't get a 2 coin bonus from that. Using a mini games definitely does not help a bit. Well, we probably should ignore whatever that thing was and just double dash mushroom over to the end because, yeah. I can't believe they force you to buy an item. In that case, I might actually have to ignore that one mushroom for once and try for the poison one instead. Maybe I can nerf someone's coin amount. By a lot. Right now, Mario's the target of all the coins. Uh, I did mention that whoever has the most coins is a target for whoever uh, has a coin NATO. Unless they have the item, then it, it goes after the second place player. Time to use items, I guess, since that one trick didn't work very well. So we'll just do this. Goodness, the minimum one, of course. A four. Nah, uh, uh. Of course. The one time I get a chance to take a shortcut, it gives me the lowest possible low. Bad luck space, of course. 
Can't that at least have been a f two? That would have at least avoided that, but no. I need to be trolley the game. Ugh. Let's darn it, Mario. He's about to steal from me, unless Peach gets her coins than I do. Yeah, I'm like barely in the middle between the coins. Yeah. Again, a lot of these boards are RNG. Well, what am I saying? The game already has a lot of RNG. Really? None of them went for the free? This is pretty much RNG because it's mind games. Ha, I actually got the free coins. I knew something was wrong with that. I stopped it. So, there are a couple things, reasons why doing this is a good idea. One, I'll make sure none of the CPUs get this troll. And sometimes this will happen. And every time that happens, it's about a two or three point loss. These CPUs are being extremely greedy today. Oh my. Well, we obviously have to stop the big one. <laughs> if I had actually gotten that, I would have been pretty surprised. I got some coins, but not much. <laughs> to be fair, I have to stop them from getting the top all ones, but... I was hoping they'd be at least somewhat nice, but not... <laughs> to be fair, that's probably not going to give you much coins no matter what you do. Oh, in human one mode, it'd probably be very interesting, because... Maybe someone will not be greedy, maybe someone will be greedy. That game... Pretty much it's all about mind games. Like, where do you think your opponents will go? Okay. Good, good, good. So Pete should get stolen from when it comes to her turn. Steal coins. Uh, I think that misses the bad luck space. Unless she goes that way. Oh, she could have done that as well. Oh, I think she went the- Okay, never mind, that was smart. I think she was actually landing on the bad luck space. Wow. Okay, so I want Monty Mole to overroll me here, which means he needs to use his dash room. If he doesn't reach the shop, then it's going to be kind of tricky. Missing the block, but getting 12 coins out of it. This is not good for us, because Peach has the coin lead at the moment. Coin lead is pretty important in this board, it seems like. But it doesn't help that the... The RNG thing on the side doesn't really help. You can move some different paths, but they don't really change much. It's either take a shortcut to the star, or get an item. While your rivals keep on picking up coin natals and constantly stealing the coins. Montiel did use the item, by the way, but he did not get enough for it. And I cut. And the, here's the problem I get forced into picking up the item. I don't think this guy lets me back out. That's okay, I could always block Peach for some extra coins with the poison shroom that I use, but. Uh But still. Barely... Wait, no. Ah, gosh darn it. 
As if the game can't already get any more worse. The game RNG rolled me the second bad luck space now. If this couldn't get any worse, then it definitely has gotten worse. Now I'm actually probably actually having a decent chain of bad luck, because holy crap. I didn't need this three times in a row. So if you count all of that, that's 15 coins I could have had. Goodness. Well, someone's going to have to land on this to even it out. At least I don't get targeted by the coin nail, but that's not good for my coin lead at all. I think just based off of that, I could lose easily. Because already I could have gotten the star from the thing, but because I missed that, they have a chance to steal it. And potentially hang on to more coins, then make the stars worth 15 coins. Uh, while Mario once again goes to the star steal area. Honestly, don't know what'll happen. Oh wow, that's actually a trap for me. Either it'll be random star steal, which I think will happen anyway. Oh yeah, that's another reason why I don't like it, because I often get into the 1-3, but this looks like a little bit better, yeah. This looks a lot easier to do. So this motion I do is probably the best way of doing this. Yeah, I definitely got more than them. The last time we won this, won this, uh, uh, well, actually we lost it, the one player one. Which allowed me to figure out that this seems like an easy one to beat the CPUs at, and I was correct. <laughs> Just a swift motion is all it takes. Yeah. By the way, if I lose, I hope I at least get second. But you never know. Remember, I could still catch up. <laughs> this is definitely the worst I've done, though, in a while. Because because of this thing that happened to give me, Peach is about to steal a R from me. Well, snipe the star from me. And potentially make it cost even more. <laughs> uh, I'm about to, probably about to get trolled. Uh, I hope it's not too expensive for once, because based on the RNG it gave me, it's probably going to be uh, the free. I'm, yeah. Based on the RNG it gave us with all the 15s, it should give us five. Yep, I was predicted correctly. So maybe it's not as bad as I thought, but I have to get there. I hope Montiel just uses his coin NATO. That'd be good. Peach, you already have an ally, right? Why do you need another one unless you didn't have one? Pretty sure you do, though. Yeah, two of allies. Yeah, I'm so used to, like, having allies, definitely. And he did go for the dash block, but he didn't actually miss the dice roll. He didn't get uh, what he wanted, he uh, got a one. Now you see what it's like for uh, me to do the thing. Also, I don't really care if I miss the section, 
Because if I change the price of stars, then it's more likely to go to 10 to 15 than to 1, so... I could potentially stop if I'm getting a star, but... It's pretty clear what I want. I want RNG to be kind to me, and I am about to mess up... I... Oh, wow, this is actually kind of confusing. I'll give her another ally. It's pretty obvious what I want. Let's just do Monty. Try and make him well. Is that zero? If he rolls a zero, he's going to oh uh, one. I like how the I like how your character laughs whenever you use a poison zoom on them. Oh wow, as close as it gets. Barely got it. Goodness. So, this is more than likely not going to be five stars again, yeah, but once it gets uh, back, then it's more likely to go to five stars again, because it started at 10, and then went to 15, and to 10, and then to 15 again, which is kind of unlucky. This is what I'm worried about. Mario's probably about to steal a star from me, but he loses coins for that. Or steals random. Yep, wow, and 15 coins, too. If Montiel gets no coins, he's not going to get any stars. Of course, I have to lose coins for that, but whatever. Goodness, I am definitely have the red star. I hope that star is given out. Red and bad luck space in general. I hope that that's given up. To be fair, that bad luck space is pretty much placed in like a devious spot, all the way in the middle of the board. There's no real way to avoid it, and yeah, he's smart for once. Again, he pays a lot of coins for this. You want to get to the end of the board as much as possible, since you can get two stars. So what I'm gonna see is whoever gets to the end of the board more than anyone else will win, which means Peach is going to win because she has more allies, which allows her to move faster. I would go for my strong dice spot, but I don't have an ally with me. It's very hard to go for. So where did my thing take me? Zero, one. I obviously don't want a zero for now red. So, okay, if Mario's smart with this custom dice lock, same for Monty, maybe they would use it to get an ally. Oh, more money. Coin minigames. The bomb that loses all your coins. I'm waiting on that. <laughs> Screw that. I'm not losing 23 coins from a bomb. It's the best I ever did on that one, that's for sure. And that helped me a lot. Good. Took over one of the leaders. Yeah. Wow, we're all in the same area. <laughs> Goodness. Whoa. Nothing she can do about that. Even though our allies will help out a little bit, she's still low and low. Now you know what it feels like to have two allies but still roll well, Peach, eh? <laughs> Ooh, random again. I was hoping you'd pick Peach, but... It's like you want to be more trollier than I thought. I'm about to get a coin Neo though, so I will t get you back someday. Uh. Well, my trick sort of worked. It made him hit the chain chomp again. Had he rolled super high, he might have also gotten the bad luck space, but I already landed on that space three times. It's probably not going to get landed on again for a while. 
If it is, I'm probably not landing on it. Keep in mind, one of them was kind of manipulated. I could have used the stream to instantly avert it off. The one time I actually wanted to. Thanks. Finally some luck on my side. I didn't get Bowser this time. I got Bowser a lot the last time. Since Baby Bowser doesn't have coins, that's something I can actually work with. Alright, Quiff. I might actually use this dice block a lot. Go for that 9 more on this one because although it's high risk, there's a lot of reward with it. Especially if the one that I can get possibly from it will give me a good item or another ally. Just basically, based on what's been happening, I have to go for the risk and hope that it gives me a 9 a couple of times. Oh, this one again. Don't like it. Even if you were able to pass, it's pretty much RNG, so what's the point in playing? Just pass <laughs> it as much as possible. There is a little tiny bit of strategy, which you probably saw me do just now. The idea is you throw the bomb to the opponent and you want to hold on to it and then pass it at the last second. I didn't get last this time, because from the looks of it all the opponents got removed pretty quickly. Okay. So, in case you know why I hate this minigame, this is a return of a similar bomb minigame I forget, but it was an 8 player minigame in Mario Party 7, and all I know it was one bomb it used to be slightly easier, and you basically had to pass it around. There was a small strategy change rate. You can just pretty much wait on the bomb and then throw it later to try to get some people out. But even if you do all of that, you could still lose, depending on how troll it is. The first time I actually played that game, I won because there was some small strategy to it. That minigame is pretty much like it, but way more RNG. Ugh, it's pretty much two strategies to it. The strategy I was going for was just wait and hope for, hope that my partner doesn't get taken out. That's another one where you just want to have the ally advantage. Ugh, yeah. So, what I'm basically saying is that is more than likely the most RNG mini game that I can figure out at least that one right there there's literally nothing you do just press the button and hope for the best if you can get to the second round there might be some timing you could do to potentially win that part but if you can't if your partner human or whatever you do if you can't uh survive that round then there's no way you're <laughs> winning from there so it's just like I said, that game is all RNG. There's nothing you can do there. I This sounds crazy, but I don't think I actually want to let key to a space at all. It's kind of a trap in this board because <clears throat> you want uh, to get to the end as much as possible, which means taking the right is the safest play. Because I'll guarantee you go to the right, unless you get two question marks in a row. Ooh, nice. Again, that was to be expected, because remember, there was a lot of 15 coin stars going around in the beginning. Unfortunately, I'm nowhere near that. So, it's time to use the greed block. For many people, this is probably the first time uh, using the greed block, and wow, I got a 9 out of it. That's nice. I pretty much needed- I much deserve all of that, because that- Because I was so far behind, there was no way I was catching up unless I was getting that. Now I should probably go back to normal, otherwise I'll probably roll badly. 
Yeah, I obviously did that because I wanted to catch up to my part opponents. They were pretty far ahead of me and very close to the star, which now costs five coins because of stuff. Is he actually going to go for the Womp? Oh, wow, they're kind of silly. So it's both a risk and a reward. You could take a shortcut. Oh, great. Free ally. That's never... That's never fun when the CPU gets that. I remember I got that on my first uh, run. In the first board. But anyways... Ooh, so now we have to find acorns, I guess. Start. It's hard to know what one to do. Uh, so it's probably a rumble one, which means there's no way to- oh, unless we got that. <laughs> I noticed that we got uh, two of the best one. Actually, I think we got all of the best acorns right there. I don't know how, but Mario destroyed I'd them. I think that was mostly Mario there. <laughs> he literally got two of the be three of the best ones for me, and that gave us a good lead. All right. At least I could get the star no matter what. Though if I could get to it right now, it would help. Thank you, which we have to end the episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye!